my testimony. Before I knew God, I lived um, a very hardcore life. I was a drug dealer and a uh, pretty successful drug dealer, if that's the right word. I had a lot of people working for me and uh, was definitely deep into the life. I was addicted to drugs, alcohol. I got drunk high every day. I was a very violent person. Um, I was a womanizer, an adulterer, fornicator, you name it. Any foul thing that you could imagine. And I came to a point in my life where I had seen so much evil and done so much evil that I was deceived and really believed that there was no God. And I put a lot of roadblocks up in between me and God. I wouldn't go to church. I wouldn't talk to people about God to the point where if somebody really tried to press the issue, you know, I would, I'd be violent with them. And God arranged some very unique circumstances to get me in a position where I would be exposed enough to somebody who would say the name of Jesus. And when they said the name of Jesus, it was like somebody grabbed me by my shoulders and just shook me. And Crystal was there and some people were around. And I guess what happened to me was so profound they could see it on my face and you know they said what's wrong and I, I thought I was having a heart attack but I was just 22 years old they laughed at me of course but uh, I mean I was the kind of guy that could have blood squirting out of me and I just put duct tape on it and go along you know so for me to say something was wrong uh, it was pretty serious and I thought it was something physical in my body to be honest with you but after a couple minutes it went away and everything was fine and uh, I sat there for a few minutes and then the girl talking said the name of Jesus again, and when she did, it was the same thing all over again. Like somebody grabbed me by the shoulders and just shook me. And I guess my face turned white, people at the table, same thing all over again. Are you okay? What's the matter? And I told them again, I thought I was having a heart attack. And uh, after a few minutes, I was okay. Got in the car on the way home and was driving with Crystal. And she said, what happened to you back there? And I told her I didn't know. And it was the first time in my life I remember hearing the voice of God. And God said, you're a liar. He said, you've been asking me to show you who you are for two years now. And I did. And I didn't know anything about church or the Bible. I just went in my house and I fell down on the floor and I just said, God, I'm sorry. My life's a mess. I'm a horrible person. Forgive me. Help me. And I'll follow you. I'll do what you say. And God told me to read the Bible. It was his word. It was the truth. And I read the Bible for two weeks. God never spoke to me again until one day. He told me to go to church. And, uh, and I did, and I was just naive. You know, I didn't grow up in religion, so I just believed what the Bible said. And I did what it told me to do, and I started laying down the things that God told me to lay down. And I had to quit dealing drugs. It was my only source of income. And so God led me to give away all the money that I had, and I was broke as a joke. And God provided a way for me to start this business. It was kind of a miraculous deal on of itself. And so my job changed, my way of life changed. God instantly delivered me from drugs and from alcohol. And changed my heart. And I went years without ever crying. I couldn't tell you at that point in time, I probably was less than 10 the last time that I cried. And uh, God gave me a love for people. And. And I studied the Word and I just began to, to be a doer of the Word. And it changed my life. God healed my relationship with my wife who I'd been cheating on and just basically destroyed. And healed the relationship with my kids. And like I said, delivered me from drugs and alcohol and gave me a new heart. And it was all just a result of taking Him at His Word and believing His Word and doing what He said. And I look at where I'm at now, how awesome my life is and how blessed that I am. And it's nothing short of just a miracle of God. So, I used to be conformed to the world. And then God transformed me with His Word. And now I'm new.